So good things happen when you go to sit down and check your email and uh, we're here with David Kelly who has uh, an interesting little contraption to show us um, for uh, what can be used in a retail space for uh, multi-touch and um, uh, what, well, tell us what we've got here. Well, so a lot of the stuff we've been doing uh, at Wirestone the past, I don't know, a year has been really heavily in the retail space and so one of the ideas was to be able to make the entire store be more responsive and immersive so so it's no longer just a store it's actually a retail experience and so the idea with this prototype was to be able to replace all the paper price tags with uh, little touch screens that uh, that are the price tags and then have those price tags be able to respond to people when they touch them but also be able to respond to people before they touch them and actually uh, communicate with other things like maybe a display on the wall behind the products and and so so the scenario or the use case or user story or whatever it is you go in and you might see phones or cameras or whatever and there's a price tag there and you're standing in front of it and the price tag might transform and say you know like say touch me here to compare or highlight the price or something and then when you touch it you have those uh, that that products you know like slide across uh, up on the wall and you might go and touch another one and have that slide in and you can even go so far as to uh, have the stuff on the wall move with the user as they walk down the aisle using the sensors to reposition that comparison so the user could keep touching different ones and a new one would come in and compare it with the last one mm. and uh, so we were talking in the office about how we would implement that in uh, uh, one of my one of my colleagues has this hobby with uh, serial uh, serial controllers, and uh, so we we talk about everything, and and we we decided to try to do it. So we built a prototype that's basically a Silverlight user control with some custom events and some uh, uh, properties on it, and we're consuming it in a WPF app that uh, has a Windows. Uh, a Windows Manager class that uh, for all the little price tags that you attach to the system which the computer sees as screens because that's what they are they're little USB touch screens and it'll spin up a price tag for each one and then it will also uh, uh, spin up uh, a serial port class that wraps uh, the uh, communication with the, the Adreno serial controller and takes that, the, that, that information and can make the, the price tags respond when a user sits in front of it. Right? <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so, so I have a couple of pieces of that demo. The first one... Uh, so here's all your hardware. Yeah, so this, this here is your Adreno a serial controller and it actually uh, can have a bunch of different stuff but we're only using it for this little ultrasonic sensor in the front and um, you know if you if you figure out once once if we we're really going to do this once you figure out what you want it to do you could have uh, something custom made that's much smaller than this because this board will do a whole bunch of stuff okay but we're we're just using it for for uh, the sensor and uh, we have that via USB hooked to the computer and then we have this this uh, little touch tag or, or touch monitor it's all just USB uh, and it's touch and uh, that's how you make prototype work cool okay so up here we have something on the screen which basically will respond to when someone's within proximity of the sensor right right so uh, so we're talking uh, com port 14 uh, to uh, over over the USB to the driver, and so right now it, it uh, it's uh, showing the the maximum range it has up here. Right. And uh, once once we get as we get closer to the uh, the sensor, it's it. So uh, now it, it switched from ham hey, over here to let me show you a few things, and now you're <laughs> getting a little too close. So if, yeah, if you get really close, it, it, it gets upset. It doesn't like that. <laughs> So it's it's trying to get your attention, but you know there's still personal space. Right. You, don't, you don't, have to respect don't, it for don't machine. Touch it there kind of that's thing. right. <laughs> respect for the machine. That's that's exactly right. But the idea here is that basically, if someone approached the the product area, they would be able to see something that would engage them to. Right. Right. The exactly. Product. And uh, so, can you 
do you, need, do you have something that reads credit card numbers so that you can tell that you need to bump the price up if people have more money to spend? Or no, so we we actually talked about that in one of the meetings yesterday, and, and we don't want to get too big, brother, because that might freak <laughs> people out. You know, if we know who they are, you might change the price instantly, <laughs> right. uh, uh, extra hundred bucks or something. And uh, so this is this is actually showing the Silverlight, a, a simple Silverlight control that that wraps yeah. it. And if if we get more than twenty centimeters. Uh, to it, the the bar changes red right now. Right. Uh, just to just to respond when someone comes within you know 20 centimeters. Is what okay. Using. But uh, the idea is, is 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 when when you when you touch stuff, something would come up here on the screen, and it could be a product comparison or whatever. It right. Is. Okay. And on the plane, I started building the price tag UI, which is, which is this so far, but. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not really wired all together. Right. Okay. Uh, there's. There's been so much going on here at Mix, and so many people to talk to, and <laughs> right. so much of, you know, people I haven't seen in since the last Mix, and uh, so I haven't had time to put right. the rest of it together. But. Uh, but basically, as someone approached this device, this device would respond, mm -hmm. and then when they touched here, then they would see more information here on or a wall, on a wall or, or, or or something akin to that. So right. we're. We're putting together um, a UX lab up in Seattle right now, and so we're going to have all these geeky toys up here okay. uh, to uh, to experiment with user experience and retail spaces and that sort of stuff. And, cool. And uh, we're not really a product company, so I don't really see us going in in that direction as something we sell necessarily. But uh, uh, so I'll, I'll probably throw the source code up and and uh, you know let 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 people take a look at play with it a little bit. And uh, we've actually talked to Preemptive, met uh, some of their guys yesterday, and they're interested in doing some BI intelligence stuff with it. And, and uh, it, it's, it's really cool stuff. Right on. Well, if people want to find out more information about you, where would you send them? Uh, hackingsilverlight.net or .com. <laughs> or, Just try both or search it. <laughs> or Wirestone. I think both of them work, actually. Okay. I, I don't remember. Uh, but that, that's my blog. Um, and so we're, we're certainly hacking some silver light here, but uh, uh, yeah. Right on. Thanks, David. You're welcome.